The VMAX 1700 suspension has a total of six adjustments that you can tailor to your needs. In this video, I will show you where each of those six adjustments are located and how to adjust them. We will start with the front suspension. What you're looking at now are two of the adjustments on the top of the fork. We are looking at the left fork, but each fork is identical. We will start with the top adjustment and work our way down. The top adjustment is for rebound compression. So basically how fast or how hard do you want the front suspension, the front fork to return to its normal position after being compressed. To increase that force, you would turn the adjustment knob clockwise. Conversely, to decrease the amount of force, you would turn it counterclockwise. And you will feel and hear that there are clicks. And to find out where you are in the range of clicks, the best thing to do is to start with the knob all the way down, turning it clockwise as far as it will go, and then you count the clicks as you back it out or turn it, turn it counterclockwise. There are a total of 22 clicks and the very first click turning it counterclockwise is the firmest setting. And then if you get to, if you want the standard setting, turn it to 12 clicks. And then the softest setting would be 22 clicks, which is basically all the way out. So that's all there is to that one. The second adjustment up here on the top of the fork is for the preload suspension for the spring. And this is adjusted right here by using this adjustment bolt and using an open end wrench 14 millimeter. You turn it clockwise to increase the preload and conversely you turn it counterclockwise to decrease the preload. Located at the bottom of each fork is the adjustment screw for compression damping. As you can see here, it is conveniently labeled. So if you turn the adjustment screw clockwise, it will harden the damping and counterclockwise will soften it. You will need a standard screwdriver in order to make this adjustment. I will turn it all the way down. And similar to the rebound damping above, if you back it out one click, that is considered the hardest setting. And you can back this one out a total of 32 clicks, and, and which would be, if you backed it out all 32, that would be the softest setting. And similar to the rebound damping above, if you back it out a total of 12 clicks, that is considered the standard setting. So that's all there is to this as far as the front suspension is concerned. We will now move to the rear suspension. There are also three adjustments that can be made to the rear shock absorber. We will start with the spring preload. And the adjusting knob for this is located under the left fender. And as you can see, it has bars to indicate maximum and minimum setting. There are a total of 11 settings and the maximum setting is considered setting number one and setting number six or increment number six would be considered the standard and 11 would be considered the softest and you simply turn the hand dial clockwise which will drive the knob down towards the maximum setting to increase the spring preload and you simply turn the knob counterclockwise to back it out or to release some of the spring preload. And that's all there is to this. The rebound damping adjustment is also located on the left side of the motorcycle and this is actually attached to the bottom of the shaft. Similar to the other adjustments, to make it harder you turn it clockwise and you turn it counterclockwise to make it softer. Also similar to the other ones, there are a number of clicks and the rebound damping has a total of 20 clicks. So again, if you turn it all the way clockwise until it stops, and if you back it out to the first click, 
that is the maximum or the hardest setting. And if you back it out a total of 12 clicks, that would be considered the standard setting. And if you took it all the way out to 20 clicks, that would be the minimum or the softest setting. So that's all there is to that. Now we will move to the right side of the motorcycle for the final adjustment. The third and final setting for the rear suspension is the compression damping setting. And this adjustment is located on the right side of the motorcycle underneath the right fender. And just like all of the others, it has the adjustment knob and to increase or make the setting harder, you turn it clockwise and to make the damping softer, turn it counterclockwise. And also just like all of the rest, the best thing to do is to start with it all the way down, turn it clockwise until it stops, and then if you back it out one click, that is the maximum setting or the hardest. On this one, the standard setting is 10 clicks if you back it out. And for the minimum or the softest setting, if you backed it all the way out, it would be a total of 12 clicks. So there you have it. All six of the adjustments that you can make on the VMAX 1700. I hope this video helped. See you next time.